Funko Monsters, it's me, the Funko Monster, and today is Funko Friday. You know what that means. I got some pops, and I'm going to stop. But I got a shit ton of pops. This week might be the biggest weekly roundup in a long time. So, let's get straight into, get straight into it. I went to a very far place from me called... The Toy Vault. Now this Toy Vault is insane. Oh my god, okay. Um, let me, let me check, make sure I have everything ready to go in this bag right here. It's so big. Okay, so the Toy Vault uh, sells, obviously, toys. They have a wall filled with pops. It is awesome. Um, I also got this action figure set from NECA, class, uh, cult classics, um, Red War Dogs, it comes with five of them, uh, the only one that's really missing is Mr. Brown, which is not really an important character, but I have all these pops, so let's get straight into it. The first one, that is, you know, let's go with furthest to closest, okay? The first one, I saw it and I thought I was never going to get it again because I saw it in FYE once and I was watching the show at the time, but I didn't get it, but I, ever since I finished the show, I've been wanting it. I have Gemma Teller Murrow. She's awesome. She's so detailed. Uh, if you watched the show, it's not really a spoiler. She has a scar down her breast. Because she had an open heart surgery. I'm going to close this back up. But yeah. She even has that. I'm not sure if you can see it though. And you can't. But she's really cool. So I got Gemma Teller Murrow. Next one. I've had this before. The paint job was absolute shit. I gave it to my friend Dom. Who's my best friend. I wish she was here right now. So we could hang out and stuff. But I have the PX Extreme. Previews exclusive metallic uh, death stroke. Um, I hope he has a better paint job. I can't really tell on the back, but if he doesn't, I don't really care. I just want this death stroke before he disappears on the face off the face of the earth. Next one is a Star Wars pop, which I didn't actually get at Fye. I didn't get death stroke there either. I mean, uh, toy ball. I got these two at Fye. I think. But I got Bib Fortuna. Um, I don't really know this guy. I'm gonna rewatch all the Star Wars uh, movies again after I finish rewatching them. But um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm pretty. I'm getting pretty close to getting this whole set right here. Although I don't think I'll be able to do a full set review on Star Wars pops except for series one. Anyways, continuing on, back to the Toy Vault, I got one of my favorite Disney characters of all times, competing with Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, and this is Stitch. Uh, I, I've been dying to get this pop. I want to get the Fugitive Toys exclusive flop Stitch. I don't know how much it costs, but I really want that. Um, the thing that sucks about this is, like, most of these pops on the back are actually retired. Um, like, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Sully, this whole row is retired, Maleficent, and, uh, I don't know how to say her name. But, Tinkerbell was at the Toy Vault. I'm gonna get her next time, maybe. Uh, I might get Dumbo next time, but, um, the next one, uh, at the Toy Vault... There was a sale, get two for 20 without, like, not counting taxes. And I was at the cash register, and I was like, all right. She's like, okay, you can get one more. So I run back. I grab uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and it says twelve ninety five. So I'm like, shit. So I put it back. I grab Han Solo, same thing. I grab Princess Leia, same thing. And I grab this guy. The stormtrooper, and he didn't have a sticker, so he counted. But he looks really cool. I'm glad to get him. Um, I never really liked it because of the, the 
like Popeyes. Um, so that's the one flaw I really have with him. But I'm starting to get over it. Uh, on the back of this, I am pretty. I have like I say. Uh, probably like 40% of the set. Uh, I have Darth Vader, Yoda, the Stormtrooper, and Chewie, but I'm thinking about re-getting Chewie. I'm gonna get an exclusive of him one day. Uh, the next one is a GameStop exclusive. Han, this was at the Toy Ball 2. Han Solo, or, yeah, Han Solo Hoth. Now, like I just said, I might be getting an exclusive Chewy that is the GameStop snowed snowy ch Chewy. So yeah, this is back when they had the night the this kind of sticker here. I th I th they still do for some. But that's not the point. He looks really cool. I'm glad I got him. All right, last row on uh, for Toy Vault and sticking with the Star Wars theme. I got Luke Skywalker from Hoth as well. Um, I'm hoping they will have that thing he was riding. I need to watch Empire Strikes Back, but that's not the point. He looks awesome. Um, it, here's the back of it. I do have the Biker Scout. I want Palpatine bad. I want the Wampa. Booscat. I don't know. These, all these look cool. Um, think about this. You see how this guy's here? He's in this set as well. So that means I might have to. Oh wait, they're different numbers. Oh, they have different instruments. Okay. Okay, that scared me. I, I was gonna say, why would they put the exact same thing? It's a different instrument. So you can have the whole band if they wasn't there a drummer. I don't know. Anyways, next one is C3PO from the new Star Wars Force Awakens. He's not really on a yeah, he's not on a stand, so he's a little wobbly. Right, let's take him out just to put him back on a stand, okay? But yeah, I I have I've been getting a lot of Star Wars stuff. I love Star Wars now. Star Wars is my new favorite thing, and I broke the box. Uh, this, f all the Star Wars Force Awakens pops are like that. It's like I have another Force Awakens pop as well, and it's the same thing. Probably not as bad though. All right, here he is. The details on this thing is insane. There's a chromed out version of him as well. I have a chromed out version of the original. Uh, and he is the San Diego Comic Con for this one. It's the Barnes and Nobles, which pisses me off. But whatever. I'll put him back in later. The next one is the Flame Trooper. I've been dying to get this guy. He looks awesome. I love his gun. And he's just sick. Look at him. And like, again, look at that. What the fuck? Okay, uh, now this was a completely different day from GameStop and Newbury Comics. At Newbury Comics, I got Pac-Man. He looks fucking awesome. I don't... If you don't play... If you never played Pac-Man, what are you doing? Like, you're, don't call yourself a gamer if you never played Pac-Man, okay? But he looks awesome. I'm hoping to get the rest of the set so I can do a set review, which will be amazing. I don't know how I'll do it, though, because they're the same thing. Anyways, that's from Newberry Comics. From Newberry Comics as well, I got uh, Jimmy McGill from Better Call Saul. Great show. I want to watch more of it. But, yeah, here is Jimmy McGill. Um, I love the box on this thing. I love this. And when he goes like this. Pretend that's a tie. Showtime! I love that scene. But yeah. Uh, and the last one, which I uh, by the sticker is obviously from GameStop. I got Niem Noomb or something like that. He looks cool. Uh, he was the last one, and I went there for Songbird from 
Bioshock Infinite so I could do a set review. He wasn't there. I was pissed. And then I saw I saw the normal version of him in Newberry Comics. I was like, okay, I'm gonna run there real quick, grab it, and if that if there's one, and he was the last one, and I didn't want the same thing to happen with Songbird, so I picked him up. Anyways, now I got two vinyl idols. Yes, that's two vinyl idols. This one is probably my new, my second favorite movie of all times, right below Pulp Fiction. It, the more I talk about it, it's just, it's awesome. It's an awesome movie. You need to check it out. You, you, and you. You've seen it. Okay, uh, yeah. This is the dude from Big Lebowski. I actually post this on my Snapchat. Um, yeah. Okay, but he is sick. He's, he's holding his right white Russian. He's wearing the shoes. He's just awesome. Uh, I'm going to read you the back real quick, even though I'm going to do a review on this, and I'm going to read the back. Anyways, let's be clear. He's not Mr. Lebowski. He's the dude. So that's what you call him. You know, that or uh, his dudeness, his doer, duder, his duderio, if you're not into the whole bre brevity thing. Quite possibly the laziest man in Los Angeles County. All the dude ever wanted was his rug back. It really tied the room together. It's good knowing that he's out there. The dude... Taking her easy for all us sinners. The dude buys. I love that read up. I. This is probably my favorite vinyl idol, but this one takes a good competition. Sean from Shaun of the Dead. I got him on clearance for $12.97. Um, he looks awesome. I was going to get Ed as well, but uh, he holds a record, I guess, and the record felt broke off his hand, and I could see it in the packaging, I'm like, okay, I'd rather pay the full $20 to get a good, you know, a good, uh, egg. So, he looks sick. I'm gonna read you the back for this. Sean was in bad shape even before he heard the Zed world. He, his answer to every problem was to go to the pub. With the coming of with the coming apocalypse, he arms himself with a cricket bat, a cricket bat, and plans and a plan to take his flatmate's car, reclaim his girlfriend, save his mom, deal with this, deal with his stepdad, go to the pub, have a nice cold pint, and toe, and wait for this whole thing to blow over. How's that for a slice of fried gold? That's that's amazing. That's amazing. But yeah, I love him. He's got that stain. He's got his collar. He's got blood on the paddle. He's got the dart in his head. That's awesome. I'm really starting to like these vinyl idols. I only think I'm going to get the movie ones. I have Rick Grimes somewhere. I lost him. I'm hoping to find him soon because I have like like these on my wall uh, with... um I forget his name. Um, Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot two other pops. Anyways, I'll just tell you, I'll show you next week. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, uh, and a little bit of an update. Um, I'm thinking about doing uh, two set reviews per week. I just needed two days. I'm thinking about Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays and Saturdays for set reviews. Um, something special, maybe on a Sunday. Maybe just any random day. I, I don't know. So, subscribe to see all that. I'm gonna be start, I'm gonna start doing top 10 Funko Pops. Nothing really specific, not like top 10 Funko Pops for 2016. Which, that's gonna, gonna be at the end of the year, obviously. But anyway, thank, thanks again. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. And subscribe to see all that. Peace. Thanks for watching.